Welcome back, Unbox Detectors. Most of you guys probably know that I have a fairly substantial backlog, and along with having a backlog of that size, and especially when you make a video about it, you get asked the question, what's your next big build gonna be? And oftentimes, I don't really plan it out too far in advance, but in some cases, there are sets that I need to build on specific dates or during certain time frames because I just want it to work out. And the set you're looking at here, which is LEGO Creator Set 10266 NASA Apollo 11 Lunar Lander, is one of those sets. I wanted to build this on the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. There was just one problem. I didn't know exactly what date that was. So I went over to the old Googles, I looked it up and it turns out that it's July 20th. So if you guys look at your calendars, you realize that July 20th, 2019 just so happens to be Saturday that I need to get the set built. And that's what we're gonna be starting on here today. This is gonna be the unboxing of this set. And I'm excited to get into this. If you guys haven't seen this set, it came out fairly recently. This is a Lego Creator Expert set, of course. And I've been trying to think of what my favorite theme is. I usually say that it's Lego Creator. I've been kind of getting away from that lately for a few reasons that I need to make a video about. But Creator Expert is one of those lines that never lets me down. I feel like everything Creator Expert is always glorious. And this set is no exception. I love this build as I reach out for it with my fully extended arms because it's a big set. Here's what it looks like. Look at this beautiful gold on here. I'm gonna put you on the back after we show you maybe Buzz Aldrin, maybe Neil Armstrong. One of the two is right here. And we've got the earth in the background there. I just love the box art in this. It looks so good, but here's the back. If you wanna see what that looks like. Actually not as good looking on the back as it is on the front. I like that artwork they have there, but you can see a little more detail here. You've got the moon surface, you got a crater, you got the flag. I'm thinking that these are printed pieces too. I don't know, might have some stickers in here, but that'd be great if they were printed. It actually allows you to go inside of it and play around a little bit, which is very important in Lego Crater because you not only want to build a set, but you want to play with it. But this is mostly for me going to be a display piece. I really thought it'd be fun to put this with the Saturn V and have the lunar lander from that, which is super tiny. But again, here's the front of the box. And it's a fairly substantial set, like I mentioned. This is 1,087 pieces. So I need to get cracking on this. So why don't we crack into it and I'll show you what's inside. Let's try this new experimental, almost over the head shot here and cut into it from the left, of course. And we're in. You guys know I always like to show you inside the box before we take anything out. There is the inside of it. I'm sure you're mesmerized by that. And now we'll, whoa, everything slid out like crazy. This is what we have in here. First thing you guys know what I'm going for, the manual. We do have stickers. Oh, the flag is a sticker. I was hoping that was gonna be a printed flag. That would have been cool. But manual is not folded. We've got some plastic on it. Thank you, Lego. Thank you so much. All I have to do is spend $100 and you start respecting my manuals. Can you guys see me in there? Oh yeah, you can. You can see me back there. <laughs> okay. We're gonna stop goofballing out. <gasps> I just noticed another something here that I'm loving. We have numbered bags. I was fully prepared to have to dump all of these out and sort everything appropriately, but we've got numbered bags, boys. Four, three, we've got some extra moon pieces, it looks like. We've got a little two. We've got a big two. Take that however you will. We've got one. We've got a one. We've got a little four. We've got a medium four. All right, let's get some type of organization here. One, two, three, four extras. My water, of course. That is everything in the set to fully build a lunar lander. I'm excited about this. Let's get into the manual. I was just talking to Mrs. Brickitect yesterday. We were talking about the moon landing and how crazy it is that within the same century of learning to fly, we somehow took a ship to the moon. Like, how is that even possible? You learn to fly and like 70 years later, less than 70 years later, you're on the moon. Don't check my math on this, guys. It's kind of crazy though, when you think about it. Here, of course, is said manual and our sticker sheet. Still not sure how I feel about that. I'm not traumatized, but you know, it's kind of a bummer. Maybe Lego ideas should be my favorite theme since they tend not to have stickers in them. Oh my goodness. This is glorious. We got JFK who choose to go to the moon. The race to the moon, this has all kinds of information in it. Oh, is there a countdown here? It says seven, six, ignition, and then it just goes right to, and lift off. So I don't know what happened to the countdown there, but we've got a lot of information. I'll probably end up reading this because I'm kind of a nerd like this. Here is about NASA. The eagle has landed. One thing that is hilarious is just how bad the video and photos were from the moon. Being that we were able to get there, but the technology for the 
video and stuff was terrible. You think about today, like if we went there, we'd have GoPros strapped all over everybody. It'd be like 4K. That's something that's improved. We haven't done much in the last 50 years, but we do have some really nice internet and we've got great video cameras. That's something that's really happened. What's the next big thing gonna be? I guess going to Mars, that'll probably be it. To discover and expand knowledge for the benefit of humanity. This is crazy. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen anything this amazing in a creator expert set. This feels like an idea set, honestly. We're getting into the other languages, which I will uh, promptly skip. Here is bag one. Oh, bag one's gonna be boring as heck. Gotta be honest, guys. <laughs> that's gonna be boring. Down here, bag two, that's gonna be a little bit better. And then three. Oh, now it's starting to look like something. And of course four. Yeah, so it looks like if I just endure bag one, get through that, things will get a lot better. Here's our astronaut. I saw some people talking about how they weren't happy about the minifinger having a yellow head, but for me, it doesn't really matter because he's never gonna be showing it. I don't think you're gonna be splaining without his helmet on for the most part. Let's see how bad this is. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Can I subcontract out bag number one to somebody? If you have any volunteers to help me build this, uh, come on over and build bag one for me and I'll just get right into bag two. That's really what I want. What if, oh. It kind of crossed my mind a little bit just to skip this and just go right into two. It's like eating dessert first, but it's a part of the set I have to. And that's, I guess, where I'm gonna start at. But that kind of concludes this unboxing. Let's see if there's anything else back here. Do you wanna see the final step? You probably do, you're still here. You're like, yes, Greg, show me it. 179, putting the lunar lander all together. There it is, fully completed. That's what you'll hopefully see from me by Saturday. I don't know how I'm gonna work this out. I've got a lot of stuff going on, but if I can get this done by Saturday, that'd be so cool to celebrate it. And it'll be make up for the fact that I missed out on the Statue of Liberty for July 4th. Luckily that happens every year. The 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 lunar lander hitting the moon only happens once. And by golly, I'm gonna have this thing built for that. So stay tuned to Brickitect for the future update on that. I might even do a live stream or two on this thing. I think that'd be fun. Maybe I'll live stream that first part to keep my sanity. I don't know. Probably already happened by your time you're watching this. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing. You guys seem to like these, so I figure why not? I'm unboxing it anyway. I might as well film it. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. If you do wanna see any other amazing Brickitect content, click on anywhere around bag one right around bag one. We want to avoid bag one. So click on one of the videos, one here, one here, one here, one here, and find something that you enjoy watching. Imagine you will. Or if you like something better, go into bag three or four. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. And as always, next video.